What's going on everyone? I'm back from New York City and back to talking about toy trucks. So smash the like button to see a review of a cool little Mac B61 by Neo Scale Models. Normally, right here, I would talk about the history of the company on the door. But, as with most of the Neo Scale Models company truck models, there is nothing on this company. So instead, I'm going to head to the rock quarry and talk about the model. Then, after the review, I've got a tale from the road about seeing a shiny new Mac. And here we go, guys. This is the J. McAllister Trucking Company of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Mac B61 single axle day cab in resin with a die cast frame. It's by Neo Scale Models and it's in 164 scale. Comes in the standard Neo packaging with the display case. Its item number is Neo 64058. The B61T in yellow and red. Now we'll take him out. Just like all the rest, it just slides out. The display case unclips, and then there's two screws that hold it to the display case. And here it is all out of the package. It has a resin cab that's painted in yellow, and then it's mounted on a die cast frame that's painted in red. It has diamond plate style fuel tanks with a silver fuel filler cap on them. It has door handles, grab bars, mirrors, air horns, turn signals, a bulldog on the hood, roof lights, exhaust stack, all individual parts that are applied and they are made out of resin and then painted appropriate colors. They didn't chrome plate any of these parts, they just painted them. It makes it actually look a little more authentic. On the side of the hood, you have diesel written there. Mac B61, Thermodyne, and then the Bulldog right there. Also, the trim molding that they put on the side of the hood. Isn't that really cool? Those are all just a nice big tampo right there on the side of the hood. It has vacuum formed windows that are trimmed out in black, and then on the side windows, they put a little photo etched part, and then they bid that in silver so that you looks like you have the wind wing right there. Really, really sharp. Also, it has photo etched windshield wipers, and they're easy, easy to flick off of this guy, so be careful with those. It rides on Mac style six spoke wheels. The spokes are painted in red, the rings are painted in silver for the rims, and then the little center cap is painted in silver, and then they tampo the Mac with a ring around it, just like the real ones. It did that both front and on the rear of the truck. Round over here on the passenger side, We've got the J. McAllister Trucking Company, Portsmouth, New Hampshire logo tampoed on the door, just like the other side. But what's different is we have this great big Mac B61 trademark style exhaust. Nice big muffler, and then they did dots on a decal sheet for the heat shield. And then coming up, they did a really nice job replicating the 45 from degree from in line with the cab turnout that they put on these exhausts, plus the bend over really cool that way Mac did that. They also tampoed a little black on the end of it so it looks hollow. You got your grab bar, door handle, mirrors, the same trim pattern on the side of the hood. It's a butterfly style hood that doesn't open. Classic of all Neos. Turn signal is painted in yellow and then they added the really really nice right here big air cleaner and air intake. Really cool for Macs. Same wheels, really nice vintage tread pattern tires mounted on those wheels all around. Duals and then single up front. No steering, but we don't really care so much about steering. We're just setting them on shelves anyway. These are meant to be shelf models. Around on the back here, we have a New Hampshire license plate. Brake lights, which are just tampos. They're molded in and then they tampoed them a brighter red so that they really stand out. See the back of the suspension, you can see the vintage tread pattern, but note, no mud flaps. Fifth wheel here, it's set up to haul DCP and first gear trailers with that kingpin. They did a nice job molding the back of the cab, and then there's the back window that's vacuum formed, and then some more little trim molding that was part of the original cab in this design. Then you have 
the top here. It's no deck plate, but then there's some little diamond plate on top of the battery boxes. Underneath, pretty good amount of detail. You can see the exhaust coming out and going to the stack. You see the transmission here and then the bottom of the engine. There's a tie rod connecting the two front wheels and then the front axle. Also, you note the spring suspension on the front axle. Didn't doesn't steer but it looks good these guys will roll straight if they roll but they're really meant just to be shelf models front bumper no rear mud flaps nice tires rear differential it's max style with the drive shaft going into the top and a nice drive shaft it also says 164 mac b61t 1957 tampoed on the frame rail it says made in china here and then tampo neo scale models up on the very front Really nice job they did on these trucks. Up high, we can see the two bell air horn that's on the driver's side only. We just put both together right over the driver's door. Mac loved that. Then you have the roof lights. And they're individual pieces that are painted silver and then a little bit of orange paint on the front to make it look like they have amber lenses. Really good. Same thing with the turn signals. They just painted them orange to make them look like they've got amber lenses. They also did a little silver tampo right down the center of the hood so that you can see the center line that's on the hood. That would actually be the hinges for the butterfly. Around towards the front here. Classic of Mac. They have the straight bumper here. And then they have this piece that stands up that's mounted to the bumper. It's got some braces and then it really it's there and it protects the grill from damage coming forward. Also, it's a great place you can put your trucking company name. Lots and lots of dump trucks, cement trucks, they loved this feature because it really protected the grill when they were on job sites. Road tractor is not quite so useful, but it was there. Has individual jewel style headlights with sealed beam pattern molded onto them. Inside the silver rings that are for the headlights molded into the fender. A matte change in truck design right there. Also, you can see down here and down here, you got the driving lights. There are also individual parts. Then there's a little bitty marker light on each one of those right there up on the bumper. Really cool. It's got MAC lettering right there. They painted the grill yellow to match the truck, which probably was correct. Then they got this all painted in silver for the aluminum surround that goes around the grill. There's the bulldog right up there on top of the hood. And then you can see it has both windshield wipers and they are photo etched be very careful with them they're easy to flick off and just basically count on never finding them again to put them back on and even if you do they're very hard down here on the bumper they have another new hampshire license plate makes sense it's truck out of trucking company out of new hampshire really really nice job they did on this model now as always trucks really need to be seen with a trailer so let's go on and set this guy up with a trailer here. The only real vintage trailer that I have here is the DCP 40 foot vintage trailer. Wish I had a shorter one, but they haven't really made a shorter one because that would look better with this single axle. But here we go. That is the Neo Scale Models 164 scale resin and die cast frame 1957 Mac B61T tractor in a single axle configuration for J. McAllister Trucking Company of Portsmouth, New Hampshire, hooked up to a 40 foot vintage dry van trailer by die cast promotions in 164 scale. Well guys, I kind of got hungry so I came over here to the broken wheel truck stop and I thought I'd film the bit, rest of the video here. Like I said earlier, I had something else for you and it's not history, but it's a story from the road. Back when the B model came out, trucks didn't have integrated headlights in the fenders. 
Mac broke all the rules and changed trucks forever. Another big advantage the B model brought to the table was the Thermodyne diesel engine, which really gave the drivers more power, always useful in the mountains. Well, one day, an old trucker with his grandson riding along was hauling out of Portsmouth, New Hampshire, headed to St. Johnsbury with a heavy load in his Diamond T truck. His truck was old, and really underpowered for the mountain roads. But the boss didn't care. Boss man said, get that cargo to Green Mountain Electric Supply. So the old trucker headed out of the terminal and got on US 302 for headed west. His grandson was having a great time riding along and seeing the scenery. But noticed they were just crawling. He asked Granddad if this was the best the truck could do. And well, the old trucker said, Yep, got to run in low gear and just crawl on up the hill. Bored, the grandson was watching out the window and the mirror when he noticed the truck gaining on them up the mountain grade. He really noticed the truck because it had strange headlights. They were in the front fender instead of hanging off the grill or bugged out of the fenders. He asked Granddad, what kind of truck was that coming up? Well, the old trucker, he looked in his mirror and he said, that's one of those new B Model Max. And I think that's the new truck where I work. Kinda like this truck right here. The truck got closer and closer, and sure enough, the old trucker recognized the truck as the new Mac his friend was given just a few weeks ago. Recognizing the driver gave the old trucker a bright idea. Hmm. They sure got good coffee here at the Broken Wheel. Where was I? Oh, yeah. He said, Grandson, you sit here and drive. I'm going to go play a prank on my friend. So Grandson got behind the wheel and kept on following the white line up the mountain grade. He was running at a snail's pace. The old trucker, he got out and he walked to the back of the truck and started pushing on the trailer. Just after he started pushing, the other truck got up behind him. He was really putting his back into it, and the other driver just started to laugh. Because there was a truck lane, and he had the power, the other truck started to pass. <laughs> well, that's when his mouth hit the steering wheel. Grandson waved behind the wheel. The other trucker then tooted his horn and headed on up the mountain in his fancy new Mac. The old trucker walked on up and climbed up in the cab and took over behind the wheel. <laughs> he was laughing and he said, I'll bet me pushing that truck up the hill will get to every driver by the time we get back to Portsmouth and should be good for a real roasting. <laughs> Maybe enough for the boss to get me one of those shiny new B models. Truckers, they tell some of the best stories. Getting a chance to listen to them at a truck stop is lots and lots of fun. If you've got any old stories from the road, drop them in the comments and let's all enjoy them. While limited supplies last here, guys, get one of these cool little B model Mack trucks by Neo Scale Models with the link down below. Thanks for watching everyone. Please smash that like button, share this video, and subscribe to my channel for more great videos. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I'll be back soon with some new types of content and another episode of Toy Talk.